Okay. Let's join uh, Ahaji Jiri Kroma for the press conference. Who has fought? Thank God for a very successful tour of Gong Nima and Bufa counties and therefore seize this opportunity to inform you and through you the public about observations we've made and to bring ourselves up to date with the current situation in Monrovia and elsewhere. So during our visit to Lufa County, we were informed by various local administrations that they felt deprived of their rights to participate in the electoral process because notwithstanding their availability and soundness and qualification to register to vote, thousands of them were not able to register either because the registrars told them that they had run out of registration cards registrars were not available. And therefore, in some places where we had a population of 25 to 30,000 people, only 10 to 15,000 eligible voters who register. In some places where you had clearly eligible <coughs> voters, of up to 12,000 to 13,000 people, like for example in Masambola, Nikola district, only 1,200 people estimated who register. And this was the echo in many places in Lofa County. And the people are, are, are are disappointed and they are hurt in as much as they are enthusiastic about participating in these first free and fair elections to be held they feel that things have been done in a way that they have been deprived of their right. And therefore, we consider this as a very serious offense by the Elections Commission and it could affect the way people look at the election. And I do not think that the Election Commission should take it casually. I don't think they should ignore it. Because in the very beginning, we expressed concern about this. We sent a letter of protest to the Election Commission to say that they had no right to arbitrarily impose a fixed figure of eligible voters on the country. In the absence of a voters or uh, population census, a voter registration exercise could be considered as a quasi or proper substitute for an estimation of eligible voters. But when in fact you undermine the substitute of something that is already absent, what is your intention? 
Therefore, this is a shameful act where people were available to register and where the registrars were present and they said, we don't have any more cars. So what happened to the citizenship rights of those people? Let's assume that because people have heard about the elections, nearly 800 those who are already residing in the country do not have the possibility, you no know, opportunity to register. What about those, even say in the United States, who are buying tickets, hurrying up to come and register? And you say after one million or whatever, there will be no more registration. And therefore, we're very concerned about this. And we have to publicly share that with the rest of the Liberian people and the international community. Having said that, and notwithstanding those problems, from our assessment on the ground, Plus reports that we received since we returned here yesterday, we are fully convinced that no matter how fraudulent or inefficient or what have you, uh, conditions that these on elections are going to take place, we feel convinced that ARCO will win the election. Our constituencies are very solid in all of the population areas. In Nima County and Bong and Lofa, Mansrada, Cape Mount, Paso, Riverses, Southeast, what we have done up to last night was to list the names of our partisans who have registered. And we know that not all of those people who are going to vote for ARCO are clearly identifiable ARCO members. We know there are a lot of people out there who are going to vote for the candidates or parties of their choice who are not necessarily card-toting members of any party. But based on our own uh, listing and what we heard when we came, supposed to be the total number of people who have registered, we understand about half a million people. I can tell you that we have won the elections already. reflection of something, an indication of something. And if we consider election as an end in itself, then we are not sincere. People are very, very serious about July the 19th. 1997. They don't look at it only as a date or as going to put a piece of paper in a box, but they look at it as a verdict, a decision, a judgment on more than a hundred years of history and probably a hundred years of a future. And for the first time, I think most people in this country want to use this occasion to make some fundamental corrections of things that have impacted our lives in this country. And therefore, this is a very, very serious occasion. Probably more serious than a lot of us can imagine. And because of that, 
For do not believe that it is self-serving for us to say that people feel more comfortable with the array of people they see in the all Liberian coalition party. Looking at the records, now we have the past seven years, but one or two decades before 1990. And at the end of the day, as we always said, <laughs> whether you like Ahaji Kuma or not, what is most important is whether you like yourself or not, whether you like your future, whether you can be brave to take a decision you know that is going to cripple you in just a matter of days. And I think this is the reality that the people have come to face and are dealing with now, up country. We drove throughout. We stopped in villages, we slept in some villages, some of your colleagues were with us. We listened to the people at the programs and we listened to them at night uh, to hear the official and the unofficial side. And therefore we discovered that a very important element in all of this assessment as far as the people are concerned is a question of trust. It's a question of hope and trust. Who can they trust honestly to themselves that will not mess them up? They have compared and contrasted people. Some people are okay, but not okay enough, but not good enough. And therefore, we are very much pleased that notwithstanding the level of propaganda and competition to influence people, the Liberian people by and large have remained sober. I'm telling you areas that we thought <laughs> in our own estimation that it was a foregone conclusion and that we couldn't have had even two people there was shocked to see people sincerely expressing their support in large numbers <laughs> to the extent that they were even covering some photographs that have been uh, obviously imposed on, on the towns or the roads. There were some other people covered the photograph. They couldn't uproot it. And, and some of the signboards that people were hurriedly trying to cover up, but you could see the, the ending part of it, and you could make up what was at the beginning of it. And as a trained journalist, you, you observe those things. Uh, because you don't want to go out there fooling yourself. <laughs> you know? If, if you fool yourself, I mean, if you don't accept reality, you, you, you will not be fooling people. You'll be fooling yourself. But you want a candidate assessment was on the ground after several months of campaigning several years of record building, what are your chances? You see, so therefore, we're happy that notwithstanding all of the irregularities, the inadequacies, and the flaws in the system, we feel that if one man, one vote is to be implemented on the day of elections, ACO definitely has won the elections by the grace of God. In Nimba County, it is true that groups were being organized there to give the impression that the people of Nimba County did not want anybody else besides the MPP. But that was a shallow strategy because we in ALCO were determined to make sure that our strategy did not work and that it was proven to be a false impression. In our last press conference, I think we intimated to you the information and that has saturated in that county. I have not read the newspapers from yesterday, but I understand you can tell me in detail that uh, some a newspaper reported that 
one or two persons have been reported missing in Lima County. I don't know whether any paper came out or something like that. The post? Okay, uh, who, who, who they said was, was missing? In, in Lima County? For what? I mean, did they say any reason the, the reason? Okay. But um, we have to investigate this matter to know whether people who have declared their intention for other parties are being either kidnapped or threatened by MPP or any other group. And of course, if this is found to be true, definitely we have to push to disqualify the MPP. Because if this is true, then it's criminal in nature. It's not only intimidating, but it's criminal. It's not only an offense, election commission or election laws, but it's criminal. Of course, we're not even talking about the chances of such a group trying to take over the leadership of this country. They say the brain born in our big like that. What is it born? You know? <laughs> and this is where the whole thing comes boils down to. You don't have authority. <clears throat> and Echo Mark is right here, present everywhere in this country. And 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 you are brave enough to to organize hooligans and attack people who go to canvas in areas that you occupied before. You are brave enough to look at Ecomore present here and undermine the law and safety of the people. Then who's going to give you power? That would be the worst dictatorship in the history of mankind. It took seven years to try to get uh, Mr. Doe out. It would take 57 years to try to get Mr. Taylor out. So like when people have decided that if it is one man, one vote, they're not going to vote for their own enslavement. So definitely we ask that you, members of the press, you should pursue this issue of human rights, the issue of people being kidnapped or intimidated or harassed, cajoled away from voting for their choice. It's a fundamental right. And you represent the medium through which the public should interact with each other. We're very concerned about that. We also are going to be pursuing that matter very, very seriously. But the people are brave, they are courageous, and they are fearless in expressing their views in Nimba and Bong and other counties where the NPFL had existed. To the extent where we do not, as we said before, feel that it is MPFL people. No. From the evidence that we gathered, it is a group of people organized by the MPP. And we can assume automatically that MPFL is MPP. No. Even the portrait, the alcohol portrait that was planted in Banga at a gas station, some group had threatened to uproot it. Interestingly, a group of 10 ex-fighters of the NPF warned that any attempt to uproot our portrait from the place there were going to be resisted by them. And we have information on this. So the portrait is still there, in Banga. So people are prepared. And if they can do that openly, what's about the ballot that's going to be secret? So we're very, very concerned about this, and at the same time, we're happy about this. The preparedness of ACO to undertake a government of inclusion and national unity, a government that will provide the trust, which seems to be the most important consideration in the minds of people. A government that will guarantee the hope and the security that has become the hallmark of concern for all, not only in Liberia but West Africa. We 
have said before that the executive mansion and the presidency are nothing if it is only considered some sort of uh, glorification or an opportunity for the demonstration of flamboyancy or false honor or what have you that is nothing because <laughs> this seems to be the, the, the concern and preoccupation of certain people we see around here you got to be president at all costs of course it has caused a lot <laughs> to this country blind ambition of people that they have to be the leader of this country at all costs <clears throat> but we thank God that some of us were part of a resistance to forcible leadership in this country and until our death we shall remain a resistance not only to forcible leadership but to all forms of injustice and discrimination in this country until our very death we never accept it we never be accepted life means nothing without dignity even if you do not recognize it but in the end it works in your favor to advocate the cause of dignity it doesn't matter how how long you live and what time you have discovered this and therefore Alcop with the array of distinguished people technocrats professionals indigenous experienced elders young people male female we feel that indeed there is hope for Liberia the all Liberian coalition party as we look upon just a few more days to election day wishes to reaffirm its commitment to the principles of democracy and pluralism the principles of justice the principles of human development and the principles of security and stability in Liberia and the South region this is what we promise, this is what we commit ourselves to, and this is what we live by. Finally, we hold no malice against anyone, any party, any individual. This is a small country of about two million people. Whether you like it or not, you are each other's keepers. You all are Africans put together in this part of the earth by the Almighty God. You have no right to question the existence of somebody who has not been declared legally ineligible to exist. Because when a murderer is found guilty, the law can say you are sentenced to death. And therefore, that person has no legal right to exist. Other than that, the inalienable rights that are with you as a result of your being created by the Almighty God give you the right to insist and to demand upon the free exercise of those rights therefore we are prepared to, to protect even Mr. Tiller as long as he's doing what is right we have nothing personal against anybody but it is your attitude towards the rest of the people that affects the reaction and behavior of people towards you We've always said that nobody is sufficient to be killed 
in order to wipe away the destruction and the bitterness and the tragedy that have taken place in this country. No one individual being killed can wipe out that. I told Mr. Taylor that in Ghana who met. So you don't have to be worried about being killed. Who wants to kill you? Okay. I, I like to be, I like to call names because we're not saying anything here uh, inherently negative. We're trying to communicate. And we don't hate anybody because we don't have the ability to hate. Because hatred, in as much as the natural weakness of human beings, is a contrapositive to your own vital interest and right to exist freely. You hate ideas, policies, behavior. But to hate a human being is an extreme weakness. And some of us do not have that ability. And we believe that a lot of people in this country know about that. And that's why they feel that no matter what happens, they can find somewhere, someplace, somebody to have confidence in. And I'll give you an example of the extreme demonstration of sincerity to the extent that your own enemy in this in, in split seconds of determining where his life is secured can even determine that his life is secure with you. I'll give you an example. When Mr. Taylor was attacked at the executive mansion, October 31st, 1996, when he finally escaped from the executive mansion with two vehicles, with blood stains on all his clothes, he never stopped from the mansion all the way to Congo Town here. The first turn he made was to go towards my house. Just imagine a man is coming from death. He will be afraid of anything that looks like death. But his first turn was towards my house. Why? Because in him, way deep down in him, he knew that I'm going to a guy, I know he hates me because of war, this and that, but he's not wicked. You not let me die. And I told the fellows, I didn't go home, I'll contact him by the telephone. It's okay. He went home. The following day I went to his house and told him, Did you see God? He said, Yes, I saw God. I said, Well, you didn't die because there's a reason. God wants you to know that it is only He, the Almighty, that has power. That is power. Now all what you have gone through is nothing. Because there was nothing between you and death besides God. So if you're just going to take two weeks to remember that and forget about it, then you are doomed to hell. That's what I came to tell you, my brother. And I left. So if that can happen, and you sitting here, in your innermost part, as journalists, you know that whether you like this place or not, you have hope that you will never be let down in the most critical hour. And you can feel that way, that's how the resident like Brentford feel. It's difficult to carry on certain kinds of talks and activities in political campaign without sounding like you're boasting. But you're compelled to say certain things. And that's why we talk like this. And therefore, we are trying to relate to the conscience of the people. Because there have been so much uh, campaign activity which is good. The newspapers, every day you see supplement. You take the little group pictures <laughs> and blow them up and look like the whole. You know, the interesting thing is that everybody has all the crowds. <laughs> you know, you, you open the papers, they will say, LPP went to this place. You know, the two pages all filled up with thousands of people. Then you see another uh, newspaper, UPP, Storms Buchanan. You know, and then the alliance takes over Buchanan. How many Buchanan, you know, going to be taken over by, you know, various parties? But we know that it is all part of the campaign. And therefore, uh, the euphoria, the enthusiasm associated with the opportunity to participate in the democratic process is a healthy thing. And that makes me feel good deep inside. Because as, as the old man said in one of the towns, who are going to be talking about election business if Taylor had taken over this whole country? 
election. The man told you in 1990, he said, I will rule for five years. And after that, I'm not even sure that I can pass it on to anybody else in the country. And he struggled for five years, couldn't rule. From 99 to 0 percent, ownership of the country, possession of the country was reduced from 99 to 0 percent. And that guy want to come by to get 100 <laughs> percent. You can imagine what he's going to do with it. But it can happen. As I said, I think God loves this country. 